Okay, so when you left, we were on question number 42, page 524. We had found the speed with which the cart and putty begin to go up the incline, and now we were doing conservation of energy to find out how far up they actually went. So we have initially just kinetic energy, and when it reaches its highest point, the only thing we're left with is gravitational potential energy. What are the masses? The mass is initially the putty and the cart. At the end, it's the putty and the cart. So the masses are the same, and so you can cancel them. We know the speed. We just found it over here when we did momentum. So this time we're looking for the h. So hf is equal to 1 half v initial squared over g. So 1 half, that's 0 0.3895 meters per second squared divided by 9.81 meters per second squared. And you get your final height, and it's pretty wussy, it's tiny. 7.733, etc., times 10 to the negative 3 meters. That's the height to which it reaches. Okay, so the height is this way. But the question wants to know, did it go off the end of the cart, uh, the, the track before it stopped? So we can we have our angle, and we know the height, so we can find how far along the hypotenuse it went, right? So if we have this side is 7.733 to the negative 3 meters, and we know this angle is 25 degrees, then we can find this length, right? Opposite hypotenuse, use sine and find the hypotenuse. So sine of 25 is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse switch. So the length is going to equal 7.733 to the negative 3 meters divided by the sine of 25. And when you do that, you find out that it went a distance of 0 0.018298 meters. It went a distance of 1.83 centimeters on a track that was 1.5 meters long. Yeah, I don't think it quite goes off the end. I think the buddy throwing the putty needs to do a better job the next time. All right, and one more, number 43. So number 43 is a car that's driving down a road, mass of 1875 kilograms, traveling along the country road when the driver sees a deer dart out onto the road. The driver slams on the brakes and manages to stop just before hitting the deer. The deer is grateful and runs into the field where it eats wildflowers and watches what happens next. The driver of a second car, mass 2135 kilograms, is driving too close, eating a donut, sipping an ice cap, and listening to some tunes while checking his messages, and doesn't see the deer. When the driver realizes that the car ahead is stopping, he hits the brakes but is unable to stop. The car is locked together and skid another 4.58 meters. All of the motion is in a straight line. If the coefficient of friction between the dry concrete and the rubber tires is 0.75, what was the speed of the second car when it hit the first one? And what is the point of the deer? Okay, well, hopefully you figured out the point of the deer is simply to give the first car a reason to stop. So V1 initial is zero. And this guy is 1875 kilograms. And we're looking for V2 initial. And his mass is 2135 kilograms. Okay? And after they collide, they stick together. And in these conservation of energy momentum questions, after the collision, they always have to stick together. They stick together and they slide along the road until eventually VF is zero. Okay, so what are the parts in this question? Well, part one is the collision, which will be momentum. And part two will be when they slide along the road, change in speed, therefore change in energy. Which one do you start with? Well, 
hopefully by now you're beginning to realize that if they ask you one of the beginning speeds or one of the uh, unknowns in the beginning, then you can't, you're not going to be able to start here because then you wouldn't have to do the second piece. But if you didn't figure that out and if you started here, so M1 V1 initial plus M2 V2 initial is equal to M1 plus M2 times V final and the first car wasn't moving, you quickly be able to say, realize like I don't have V2 initial and I don't have VF. Okay, so go over here to energy. One half M V initial squared, M G H initial, one half K X initial equals one half M V final squared, M G H final, one half K X final squared plus E lost. All right, initially after the collision, yes, they have a speed. It's a level road, so there's no height, there's no spring. They're going to keep sliding until they eventually come to a stop. No speed. Still no height, no spring, but there is an E lost. So 1 half MV initial squared equals E lost, which is the work done by friction. Work done is F, which is friction, delta D cos theta. Okay? 1 half MV initial squared will be mu F n delta d cos theta. It's a level road, so 1 half mv initial squared equals mu mg delta d. And the, again, there would have been a negative here, and the cos theta would be 180, and so they can just disappear. All right, it tells us the coefficient of friction was 0.75. It tells us they slide a distance of 4.5, I think it's 8 meters. The M's will cancel because they're both cars stuck together. We can find the V squared, the VI. So it'll be 2 mu G delta D. So 2 times 0.75, 9.81 meters per second squared. And the delta D was 4.5. I think I said 8.5 a minute ago, but it's 5.8. Remember, that's VI squared. So take the square root. And when you do, you get 8.21 meters per second. This speed that you found, the speed with which they began to slide across the road after the collision, it is your V final after the collision and now you can find your V initial. So V2 initial is equal to M1 plus M2 V final over M2. So 1875 plus 2135 times that speed we just found, 8.21, and then divide it by the 2135. Try to get your, your um, Mass is in the right spot, because if you don't, you won't get the right answer. 15.42 is the initial speed of the buddy munching his donut, drinking his ice cap, listening to his tunes, and um, checking his messages. All right, so hopefully those were good, um, and hopefully tonight's will be better.